Welcome to Community Partners for Kids, the region's experts on child safety. With our Child ID program, our Child Safety Handbook, and our Be Safe Educational Workshop, three community-based programs not offered by any other local child advocacy organization in the Lehigh Valley, we help keep our children and youth out of the hands of predators. Packaged together, these three programs create Child Safety University. The video clips following are all from our Be Safe workshop, designed to educate parents and children on the many risks kids face today from predators. Clay Smith, Executive Director, and Joe Fasciano, Vice President, will share some of the workshop with you. If you want your children and grandchildren to be safe and prepared to avoid danger, they need to attend one of these workshops. Let me introduce myself. I'm Clay Smith. I'm the Executive Director of Community Partners for Kids. We're a 15-year-old nonprofit agency here in the Lehigh Valley with a mission totally focused on child safety. Your parents need to know where you are, where you're going. God forbid something would ever happen to you. They need to be able to, to, to reach out to try and locate uh, where, you, where you might be. When you go, uh, go somewhere with, with, uh, to play, whatever it may be outside, you should always go with someone. Take a friend in all that you do, whenever it's possible to do that. Uh, you're going to run into strangers when you're out and about. Now, that, that stranger question is, is, is big and comes up, comes up often. What's a stranger? Well, a stranger is, is somebody that you don't know very well and your parents don't know. So uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad person, but it is somebody you don't know. For instance, when you go with your mom to the supermarket, uh, she talks to the clerk Hello, there. And I'm Lehigh County District Attorney Jim Martin, and I proudly support Community Partners for Kids. Community Partners for Kids has recently launched a new program called Be Safe, a workshop for parents and children designed to educate them on the many threats facing kids today, how to identify those threats, and how to escape. We told you about the danger of walking alone. We told you not to talk to someone you don't know. We told you that a stranger is a danger to you. But there's more to say. Cause we're not far through. If you get in trouble and feel afraid, if a stranger tries to grab you and take you away, remember this. Every parent with little kids has to watch this. You got that right, George, because it is a big act of bravery from a little girl, all caught on surveillance camera. A seven-year-old left alone for just a moment. Her mother was just a couple of aisles over in Walmart, and she was almost abducted. ABC's Youngji Denise joins us live from Atlanta this morning, and you heard what George said. Parents are going to be watching this with great interest. Youngji. Absolutely, Robin. The video is stunning. A little girl fighting a grown man, allegedly trying to kidnap her, but she scared him off and saved Talk herself. A little bit now about online safety. Of course, we know there is a problem, and the problem is right here. It's not out there somewhere. It's here locally. And one of the best ways we already found from Clay is to educate the children on what to do and how to get themselves out of dangerous situations. So let's talk about that in the context of online safety now. It is important that we know what our children are doing on the internet when they are interacting with other people. So we're going to talk a lot about parents get involved with what your children are doing online. Let's watch this video quick and see what we're talking about. The internet is a very important part of every family's lifestyle. Where else can you research school projects, shop 24-7, or chat with friends? But if it isn't used properly, the internet can also be dangerous. What's up guys, I'm Kobe Person. How easy is it for a pedophile to pick up an underage child using social media? Well today we're going to find that out. I made a fake profile on Facebook posing as a 15 year old boy. With the parents permission I friend requested three girls ages 14, 13 and 12 years old. I've been talking to these girls for the last three or four days and today we're okay, supposed to so meet up. What we found Now we know that online is something to be concerned with but let's dive into that a little deeper. Social media is where predators interact with children and they are wise and cunning and devious. 
So we have to arm our children with some basic defensive mechanisms to make sure that they don't give out too much information. And of course, we don't want them to ever agree to meet anybody they met online without you knowing okay, let's about go. it. All right. We are here to come out. You don't think she's coming out? She better not be coming out. Oh, I see the door opening. Yeah, please. Yep. I see someone. Shh. Can't believe this. Are you Daniel's brother? Yeah, yeah. Hop in. He's in the back. Over there. You know, at any given time, there are over 50,000 predators on the internet. And the thing about predators is, they're devious, but they're also lazy. They go to where there's the least resistance. So parents and kids, by arming yourselves and learning how to keep yourself safe, you make yourself an inconvenient target you just saw and heard is just the tip of the iceberg. If you have children or grandchildren, this could be the most important one to two hours you'll ever spend with them. Call Community Partners for Kids at 610-762-8054 or reach out by email to childsafety at cp4kids.org.